Good morning. I'm Chad with Power Ag. We're out here in the wheat field at Green Up. We're going to look at this wheat, look at our tiller count, see how it overwintered, and see what best management practices we need to follow to best set up this crop for the highest yield potential possible. So when you think about high yield wheat, uh, it has to start in the fall as a planned part of your program. And think about these three things and planting that at the optimum time and matching that with the right uh, seeding rate with that variety. And then also in keeping your wheat fields clean. That really helps with uh, stand establishment and also fall tillering. So I was excited this spring to get out in the field and look at tillering and stand establishment based on the cold uh, weather that we had during Christmas and New Year's without any snow cover and to see what uh, implications that had on the wheat. So ideally at Green Up right here, we'd want to see uh, 35 plants per square foot. And you can see we have a good uh, stand established here. It's looking good. Uh, picked an average spot in the field, but I wanted to dig some up, look at these plants and count the tillers to see what, uh, how it overwintered and what our yield potential is. So when you think about maximizing wheat yield, uh, fall tillers are very essential. So when we look at the wheat at green up at this stage right here, we'd want to see ideally a uh, main stem and two to three tillers. And so those tillers would be any stem that have at least two to three leaves on like these right here. Your main stem will be often in the center, it'll be a little bit thicker and stick out above the rest of them. But that's what it should look like ideally at this time of the year at green up on wheat to build maximum wheat yields. When you think about your green up application, we often have a lot of varying temperatures this time of year. So we'll have big temperature swings, it'll be nice and warm in the day, and then uh, cool down at night. Those varying temperatures can create uh, leaf tip burn. And so we recommend a product like Carbon Max to help with that. Usually about a pint per 50 units is enough and it does a really good job. The Carbon Max will help to arrest the ammonia in the nitrogen and help lessen burn on the plant. There's also an advantage in adding a nitrogen stabilizer product with that application as well. We have two that we recommend, they fit really well. One is uh, Energize, that's a DCD product and that'll help with leaching and denitrification. We also have a product called Manage HL. That product uh, will give you protection against leaching and denitrification as well as volatility. I think these three products that I mentioned, the Carbon Max, the Energize, and the Manage HL will help to maximize your uh, nitrogen investment. In high management wheat, many growers have been using three applications of fungicide. The first application would be at green up. The second application would be to help manage powdery mildew and keep the flag leaf clean. The third application would be to help protect against head scab. We recommend with that application to add alpha power just to add some boron and other micronutrients to help boost grain fill. Remember using top tier fungicides can help maximize your wheat yield potential. Hopefully some of the things that we talked about today you find useful in helping you to manage high yielding wheat on your farm.